The Nelson Mandela Bay Municipality would like to assure residents that its drinking water is safe to drink. This follows the fake news that have been making rounds on social media regarding the city's quality of drinking water. Acting Executive Director for Infrastructure and Engineering Joseph Tatsire, together with Pumza Makyola from the NMBM Scientific Lab, elaborated and demonstrated the process of the water quality testing. We are here at the Nelson Mandela Metropolitan uh, Scientific Lab. We are here to demonstrate to the residents that the water that we actually consume as residents is actually tested here to demonstrate that it, demonst it complies with the 241 quality standards. Obviously when water comes here it's actually from various treatment works in the metro. We have got seven treatment works that supplies water to the Nelson Mandela. Uh, samples are collected almost on a daily basis and they ended up in this laboratory where further tests are actually conducted to check the bacteria as well as the chemical composition of water. A year I am with Mr. Berry Martin as well as Ms. Pumza Macholo, who is part of the manager for scientific services. She's going to demonstrate to us exactly what happens through the value chain. Um, at Scientific Services Laboratory, we test drinking water according to SANS 241 2015 standards. At the, the standard stipulates which parameters we must test in order for the drinking water to comply. We've got two sections, namely microbiology lab and the chemistry lab. For the microbiological parameters, we, we use a sterile bottle. This is provided by the lab to the samplers. It is sterilized and this is the membrane filtration method and we label the plate according to the sample that we are analyzing. This is a petri dish and this is the membrane filtration system. Here she is taking the membrane filter and place it on the membrane filtration system. Bear in mind all those filter filters have been sterilized so they are sterile to make sure that there is no cross-contamination. Now she's going to take the filter and place it on a media. After this has been done, it's going to be placed in an incubator. This is also a colilet method that we analyze E. coli and total coliforms in drinking water. The technician will demonstrate. She's going to pour the whole 100 ml sample into the colilet wells. And then after that, we will put the, the wells into the sealer so that we, we will seal the sample so that it does not leak. So this is the colilet sample sealer. We are going to monitor this temperature for 24 hours using the data loggers. This is the colilet tray after 24 hours of incubators. The tray, you can see it's clean. It shows there's no growth. That means that there's zero bacteria in water. If it's got growth, we would have got a plate like this. And then if it was like this, then it will show that our water is, is contaminated. But we've got a clean tray which shows that there is no bacterial growth in the drinking water of Nelson Mandela Bay. Senior Director for Water Services, Barry Martin, has reassured consumers that the city's water quality is strictly monitored on a regular basis. We are here also to give you the assurance that the water that you drink are safe to drink. And the value chain that we're demonstrating today is just to ensure that the residents, that the water that is being produced by our uh, water, different water treatment works are safe to drink.